Thank you for taking the time to view this featured short on external processing within Cloud Suite distribution. And this is the process of taking a product, uh, whether that you own or that you're buying from a vendor and sending it to a third party processor, maybe to get something coded or a shirt or borrowed. You can use it for internal processing as well, but in most cases where this really shines is with external processing. My name is Rob Dallas. I work with Action Associates, and I've been working with N4 distribution products for the past 20 plus years. What I plan on reviewing in this session is again, the Cloud Suite distribution external processing. I wanna look at the setup of an item, uh, the different sections that you can have, the process of shipping to a processor and what that all involves and what happens. And then how this all manages the landed cost. So let me jump over to Cloud Suite Distribution and I'm at my home page here, but I'm going to use the application toolbox to jump into Cloud Suite Distribution. And I want to use, I want to go into value add entry. So of course there is some setup on the back end, but what I want to do is just review an order that's been produced to be processed whether, and we can look at the setup there. And I could have this from replenishment recommendation, I could have sourced it in order entry, but I'm gonna look for any orders around my galvanized uh, bolts. And if I see that I do have a few orders out here in process for that item, and what I wanna do is review the setup. So in a value add item, there are different sections and there's no limit to the amount of sections. This is a very straightforward where we're saying what we're going to do, what inventory we're sending, where we're sending it, and then inspection upon completion. But these could be very elaborate. Again, you may be buying inventory from one vendor, sending it to a processor. You may go from one external processor to another. It may come back into the warehouse and then go back out to a separate, another process, external vendor processor, et cetera. Okay, so no limitation to what you can define here. And just reviewing Say in this, this is again, it's a galvanized bolt. Our product is a 1-199. Okay. We can see what our specifications are, that we're getting this galvanizer coated in 90% ink, 10% iron alloy. The inventory that we're utilizing is our 1-198. Okay. So those are our bolts and it's a one-to-one -one relation. So for one covered bolt, we send one or one coated bolt, one standard bolt. And what we are utilizing from our vendor is a service. And it could be a flat fee or it could be an amount per each item. And then we produce a purchase order for that vendor. Again, that's always gonna be tied to this value add order. Then what happens is there is a pick ticket is generated, just like you would for a standard order. There is a value add shipping process, whether that's coming from a vendor or coming out of your inventory. The goods are sent to this vendor to do the coding. Right? Of course, the, the accounting is all handled, so it's process, uh, posted to WIP to work in process. Then what happens is we receive those goods back in, and then there's a final inspection state that happens to put that inventory actually back into your warehouse, into available inventory. And of course, it's gonna come in as a 1-199 now, it's this finished item and it's gonna have a new true landed cost. So it's taking the cost from the inventory itself of the standard bulb, and then any fees that we're associating with it, whether that be freight fees or for the fee itself that we're getting as part of the coding from that external vendor. And again, this is a very simplistic model of that processing. It can handle internal processing as well. We can have multiple, we can have external and internal all within the same uh, value add setup. Thank you for taking the time to view this featured short on value add external processing within Cloud Suite distribution.